in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I made up my mind to bring glory to Jesus through my life not just through my prayers not just through my fasting but through competence that anywhere he would have me serve his purposes any church I have the opportunity to minister in or here in Koinonia that by the grace of God I will never waste your two three four hours it will never be that you come for any Koinonia meeting and at the end of it you are frowning and say I just wasted my time I would have done something else it will be evil of me to come and waste your precious time many of you are veterans in business you are captains over many why will you come and sit down here for hours and then learn nothing and just jump around and laugh and share the grace that's not the God we serve by the grace of God you will never sit here and go back with regret no that whilst you sit down here quality life applicable information will come to you that is applicable both in your spiritual life and your secular environment and then the engracing from the spirit this is what makes it more than a lecture a lecture stops in the realm of your mind but there is an anointing an unction that backs every truth maybe i should say this as we prepare to round up many years ago the lord showed me a very very interesting revelation i was caught up in the realm of the spirit listen carefully and then i saw a very big door very giant gate and then in it it was made up of smaller doors and on every door a scripture was written i noticed it was the smaller doors were opening and closing opening and closing and every time they open light would just come from them and i wondered what i was seeing and i was saying lord what is this and then the lord told me every time you catch a revelation in scripture the grace dimension to defend that truth is that light that is released so any truth you cannot validate with your life is not yet a revelation to you no matter how long you have talked about it there is always grace given to the saints to defend the truths that we communicate and the lord walking with them confirming the word the word with signs following the law of absolute surrender the law of mental transformation the law of competence and mastery can you lend me 10 more minutes let's talk about the fourth law and then we pray very quickly the law of faith the fourth spiritual law that is responsible for the excelling of the saints in this kingdom is the law of faith mark 11 please from verse 22 to 24 just summarize it quickly and then we'll pray my spirit is fired up and jesus answering saith unto them have faith in god original translation says have the faith of god it says verily verily i say unto you whosoever shall say to this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith 24 therefore koinonia i say unto you what things soever ye desire hallelujah when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them hebrews 11 says now faith is the substance of things that I hope for he calls it the evidence of things not seen the evidence of things not seen 
the evidence of things not seen please permit me to just use money for an example watch this the evidence of things not seen this is a hundred dollar bill please come watch this he wants to buy say maybe he wants to buy this are we together now and it is a hundred dollars if i give him this i didn't give him the book but i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for this is the evidence that he can go to the shop and purchase it are we together now this is what he wants to buy it is not the money he wants but the moment i gave him hundred dollar he started smiling it's as good as having it because he can go to the person go to them that sell and buy that's what the parable of the virgins once you have the ability to buy them that sell will not hinder you so this is it and he comes to the person who sells and drops this and picks this so this was not supposed to remain just as money are we together now eventually i should see you holding this if you hold this forever something is wrong you it is either fake money or you don't know where to meet them that sell the moment you hold this you shouldn't just start jumping yes rejoice that you have it but don't stop there go to them that sell and exchange it for the real substance so the bible says faith is the substance of what you hope for the evidence that although it is not here i have the purchasing power to get it listen the house is not yet there but i have the substance this is the evidence that it is going to be mine the lifting has not yet appeared but this is the evidence now in this kingdom the currency is the word of god this is it instead of giving you this mundane piece of paper that when you tear it you cannot go to cbn and say i was holding real money it's gone this is it this is the instrument we use to purchase possibilities in this kingdom every time you find truth it's like money being given to you there is an exchange system in the realm of the spirit you carry that truth this mysteries i'm teaching you now is like dashing you money because you are soon going to carry this truth you are learning there are them that sell don't worry you will go to work tomorrow you will go around and you will start seeing them that sell all around your destiny helpers are them that sell the moment you meet them you will exchange these mysteries for lifting for favor everything in this kingdom is bought but you must know the currencies that we used to buy with in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was with God in the beginning John 1 says it says and without him it says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made listen to me very quickly i asked for 10 minutes faith is based on two qualities of god there are two major qualities of god that produce bible faith number one his integrity numbers 23 and verse 19 very quickly please numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 believers read with me ready one to read god is not a man uh-huh neither the son of man that he should repent had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good please look up the bible says god is not a man there is a weakness in all men we lie You don't lie because you are bad you lie because you are human so he says god is not a man that he should lie he became a man but he is not a man 
if God is a man he must worship who created him he is not a man he became a man are we together the Bible says when God says a thing you can trust him he will make it good everybody say integrity the word integrity comes from the word integer sameness as within so without sameness when you say God is a God of integrity that means there is consistency dependability when he says I will lift you he will not turn tomorrow and say no I will change my mind provided the conditions that make for the delivery of that promise is met and kept he is true to his word so the first quality of God that Bible faith depends on is his integrity you want to deal with someone you know will not play games with you God does not do April Fool no when he tells you I will lift you he really means it Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 it shall come to pass the Bible declares if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all his commandments which I command you this day he says that the Lord will set thee on high above the nations of the earth and then he says that all these blessings shall come on thee and shall overtake you there is a condition I'm the God of integrity I am able to do that God is dependable he's a God of integrity the first quality of God that Bible faith depends on is his integrity you must have a revelation of God's integrity when he sends you and tells you I will be there with you trust him trust him even when you do not see him trust him are we together integrity he does not change when God speaks to me I believe him when he sent me to this city he assured me of his divine presence and I believed him I came because I believed him nobody signed any form and said I'm coming no faith he said it I believe where will the money come from for the bills it will come through the voice that spoke where will the people to listen come from the word will bring them i know that god is a god of integrity you can trust him you can trust him i know that men have failed you they promised to do a they did b they promised to do x they did y but god is not like that when he says a thing he has the power to do it imagine the things he told you this year that this is your year of victory you must believe it is true imagine the thing he told you this year that when men say there is a casting down for you it will be that there is a lifting up you have to believe him he told you this year would not end with you crying like other years why are you now doubting his integrity God is not scratching his head wondering how to defend his name in your life he's the Almighty God he's able to do it number two the second quality of God that our faith depends on is his ability there are people that have integrity but they do not have ability I can help you but sincerely I don't have the money he has integrity and the person he's standing with will say it's true he's like that honestly if he has money he will give you so his integrity is not in doubt but there is no ability Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 now unto him who has ability he does not just have integrity listen carefully he has ability to do there are people who want to give you jobs they have integrity but they do not have ability there are people who want to lift you they will tell you just pray for me if i really become the director i will not let you suffer they have integrity but when it has to do with performance you need more than integrity you need ability god is able to do exceeding abundantly 
above all that we ask or think and he does that according to the power that works in us everybody say god is able one more time prophesy say god is able don't be in doubt whether he can lift you apostle god said he will honor me where will the resources come from ask the raven where it got bread and came and fed elijah in the night this is god he can make anything out of anything so he has integrity and he has ability based on the awareness of his integrity and his ability you can now believe him what does it mean to believe him to count him as true then what do you do the next thing you do listen carefully listen carefully this is where many people miss it out believing is not faith believing is only part of the faith equation if all you do is believe you are not walking in faith just because you have rice does not mean you have fried rice rice is a major ingredient but not the only ingredient just because you have salt does not mean you have a well-prepared meal believing is only one of the equations to faith listen to me the foundation of bible faith hinging on god's integrity and his ability is the awareness of the promises and the instructions that your blessings are connected to the awareness of the promises the awareness of the instructions that your promises or your blessings are connected to here's how it works every commitment of God in the scripture there is a condition every blessing in scripture there is a condition a participatory condition that must be met your condition is not necessarily adding to what Christ has done but it's a participatory condition if 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 you want to prosper find out the biblical conditions that make for prosperity subscribe to it with all your heart having this at the back of your mind that at the back end of your obedience is a God of integrity and the God of ability you only have the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is complete now there's a lot of blind believing God in the body of Christ and believing God for this and believing God for this you will keep jumping like that forever respectfully speaking now there are conditions the Bible is full of prophecies the Bible is full of principles. The Bible is full of promises. When you walk through your Garden of Eden, that's this Bible. You search for the things God said he would do and search for the conditions connected to them. You want to prosper, there are conditions attached. You are only manifesting faith when number one you believe that god has integrity and ability then you find out the economic system of the kingdom the principles that make for the blessing of the saints then you obtain grace from god to walk in keeping with those conditions only when you act out in obedience is god committed to you are we together it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. I read that scripture already. The Bible says, There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The Bible says, A diligent hand shall be made fat. We just read it here that a valuable person will attract the attention of kings, the gift of a man. So don't sit down and say, God, prosper me. He's saying you walk in keeping with the principles that release that dimension of the blessing. When you walk in keeping with the principles connected to any blessing, there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to stop you from entering that inheritance. This is called the law of faith. Are we together? We are going to pray. John 11 and 40. John 11 and 40. We have to close quickly and pray. Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto you, 
that if thou shalt believe you will see the glory of God this is what confuses a lot of people just because Jesus said believe you have to examine the word that was translated believe there he did not just mean if you are aware that I'm able to do it no no if you are convicted and then you act in keeping with the truths and the instructions that I give you there is an assurance that you will see the glory of the Lord let me wrap up tonight then by defining faith this is my definition of faith that faith is the name given to the action that you take faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word faith is the name given to the action not the conviction the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of this person faith is the action you take as an obedient response to divine instructions and divine principles write that down faith is the action that you take based you take to what did I say now it was from my mind in response the action you take in response to divine instructions and divine principles is called faith one more time the action you take in response to divine principles and divine instructions if it be thou bid me come and he said come the action is called faith I will lift you I believe what are the conditions be diligent when you are diligent that diligence is called faith are we blessed I've shared with you tonight four kingdom mysteries please do not forget them I want you to listen to this teaching again and again you'll find it free on YouTube go to our page Koinonia Global our YouTube page you can listen again and again go through all our social media pages it's been broken down for you to listen again and learn faith comes by hearing and hearing and the hearing that produces understanding open up your heart by the grace of God next week we are going to finish up the remaining mysteries and you will hold them like keys and you can tell the gate of destiny i am ready open up open up open up i will last because i've surrendered everything i will not become mediocre because my belief systems are superior i will not be left out in life because i am competent and i am valuable and then I will not be a victim I'm not just a sociological being a homo sapien I relate with the divine through the law of faith these are irrefutable keys to an excelling lifestyle please rise up on your feet we're wrapping up I'm on my way to better days I'm on my way to better days Status is changing There's no more decline I'm on my way to better days Prophesy Status is changing There's no more decline I'm on my way to better days I'm on my way, on my way, I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way, on my way, on my way to better days. You're on your way, on your way. You're on your way to better days. Now that ye know these things, happy are you 
if you do them please turn it into a prayer lord the grace to apply my life to these mysteries i obtain from heaven please lift your voice and pray the grace the grace the grace we are wrapping up lift your voice and obtain grace from heaven the grace to lay down the grace to sustain a superior belief system the grace for mastery and competence the grace to be valued the grace to live by faith he says the church shall live by faith I'll never be the same never be the same in the name of Jesus revealing Jesus bringing glory to his name exploits by the spirit exploits through knowledge exploits through understanding hallelujah last prayer point listen the bible says the word is the seed the parable of the sower as soon as the word was sown the bible says satan cometh immediately those that fall on good ground he said are those who understand not just those who hear i assure you one day you will lock yourself at home and you will stand before your mirror with tears coming down your face and say thank you this is a system of insurance this is a bailout system the cure to mediocrity the cure to a life of competition and jealousy you found your way i'd like you to obtain grace one more time and say lord grace to do grace to do i will do this i will do this i will practice it by the spirit i will practice it by the spirit it will cause my life to excel i will practice it by the spirit hallelujah praise the lord please lend me two minutes and as a body of believers here and following online i like us to lift up nigeria in a prayer in one minute we are responsible believers and the church has a role to play in the stability of any nation we are responsible leaders we can lend our voice to the heavens we must cry to God and say, Lord, help us. We humble ourselves and we ask for help. We have stretched our intellect. We've stretched what we know to do. We need divine strategies. Lift your voice and pray. Pray for the government. Pray for members of parliament. Declare peace upon our nation. Lend your voice in prayer. Lend your voice to prophesy. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It says they shall prosper that love you lord grant peace peace to our children peace in abuja peace in the north peace in the south peace in the east peace in the west in the name of jesus let the voice of violence be far from our habitation we pray for wisdom direct our leaders in the name of Jesus grant us selflessness to lead this nation with wisdom grant the grace to look beyond our personal benefits and lead a nation where peace and justice will reign in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here and you are saying apostle I want to hand over my entire life to Jesus 
I came to church because I was invited. I came because there is a hunger and a longing in my heart for Jesus. Whether you are here in the main auditorium or all of the overflows down to the basement, outside, anywhere. I know our time is gone, but we cannot compromise on the mandate for the global harvest. Just two minutes for you, wherever you are, I'd like you to boldly leave your seat and come stand here. It's my joy and my honor to lead, to lead you to Jesus. You are saying, Apostle, I gave my life to Jesus Christ, but for some reason, things have gone haywire in my life. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for someone to come. Be the first to come. Take that bold step. Let's celebrate them as they come. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? All those in the overflows, just walk to your screen. Just walk to your screen. You may not have the time to come to the main auditorium. All those in the overflows, down to the basement, outside, following online. I'd like you to connect as I lead God's people in prayer. If you're still joining them, come quickly. Be bold. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for making this very bold decision. I'd like you to lift your right hand. All of you here, lift it to Jesus. All in the overflow, do same. Lift your hands to Jesus. Those following online in your room, your office, your car, just watching from your device, you can lift your hands right there. Jesus is there. I want you to pray this prayer loud. Say after me, Lord Jesus. You're joining them. Join them very quickly. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I have heard your word. I surrender everything to you. I receive forgiveness of sin. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare from tonight until forever, I belong to Jesus. I am a child of God in Jesus name. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. Thank you for this once. The Bible declares that whosoever will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. They have come with hearts open. They have come with hearts repentant. I thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for that which you have done. I commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. That they be established, that they be grounded in righteousness. I pray that they will go forward ever and backward never and according to the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i declare that god gives you a new beginning in jesus name i pray congratulations um i want all of you to follow there's a gentleman waving a placard just waving to you please all of you follow them same with the overflows just follow them they will have a word with you and you'll be back to your seat koinonia celebrate them <laughs> hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.